Hello guys and welcome to DTW GED Prep. Welcome. Okay, so today in today's video we're going to be doing a question on circle graphs. That's your pie charts, and um, I'm doing it for the from the course. Okay, this is the DTW GED Math course in 30 days. Okay, um, I just put in 30 days. You might not be able to finish the course in 30 days, but uh, you know it's it gives you um how am i going to put it it's it you know it gives you a time frame to just help you quickly get the ged mass out of your way but you can take this course at your own pace okay and it comes at a fee at a, at a, a fee of ten dollars and it is a lifetime access to the course okay so just take your time all right and you can also contact me on the on the course platform i'm going to show you how to do that all right so please if this is your first time all right dtwg the prep we're here to support you with your gd your maths okay these are several videos i've done on the channel that would help you there's also a facebook group we are over 19000 members in that in that community to also help you out there you can join the group i'll leave the link in the video description box of this video okay and we have a website um that's dtwgdprep.com okay where you have several tips guides okay to help you out here all right so please kindly subscribe and also click the notification bell so you're instantly notified when we upload an educational video for you okay so let me just quickly take you through this course all right so this is you know my own dashboard as an instructor all right so this is the course it contains everything the the four basic aspects of the ged your basic maths all right you know number sense your data analysis which we're we're working on circle graphs here everything here and we're going to go into the circle graph and i'll show you how you can go through the course everything your algebra your slopes everything is in here all right so here so this i'm uh, i went into circle graphs and pie charts so it has several questions all right like 12 questions here which i'll be updating every now and then okay to so help you practice so you go into a question you try to practice it all right if you can't or you don't have an idea about this question at all this is your first time just click here a video help it takes you to a particular video that would explain it for you so you don't need to go on youtube and start searching for contents all right like oh this we have searched for the right content for this particular um topic okay my internet is quite slow so it's just loading a bit uh, we'll wait for that to load okay okay it's here so it treats it it explains it totally here all right and so when it explains it then you come here you try you also try several questions and that's it you don't have any problem about the circle graphs okay because you, we usually get questions on the my some students i to always say oh they see graphs like this they don't know how to go about um go about it okay because i do one-on-one -on -one tutoring also if you want that you can contact me all right so here let's solve this question now it says autumn categorize her spending for this month into four categories rent food phone and others all right the percent she spent in each category are pictured above, uh, here so food is 20 21 percent rent is 29 percent others yes uh, phone is 17 percent so now look at the question it says if autumn spent a total of three thousand dollars this month okay it says for this month how much did she spend on food so on food we're trying to look for the amount she spent on food we have the total amount all right this comes this brings us to our percent formula all right which says parts over whole or base equal to our rate <clears throat> or you can call it percent over 100 okay where here our unknown is the part which is food we know our rate food percent is 21 percent and our whole for this month is what three thousand dollars so we put here so we have part so we make our unknown x over three thousand equal to 21 over 
100. Okay, so to get x, we cross multiply. So 100 multiplies x, 3000 multiplies 21. So here we have 100x equal to 3000 times 21. Okay, and to get x, we divide both sides by 100. Divide here by 100. So this cancels, we have x. Now we have to punch in our calculator. Let me bring up our GED calculator. This is our GED calculator here. Let me push this here, clear here. Okay, I always teach students and uh, to um, teach them how to use their GED calculator because it's quite important. Okay, so here we have 3000 times 21. Okay, so we get, we got this, then we divide by 100. Enter. All right, so the amount she spent on food is 630 what dollars. All right, this is the amount she spent on food. Now let's check. Let's check if let's type it in 630. All right, and submit. Let's see if we're correct. Okay, you can see this. We're correct. You can see how you can play around. It's so interactive, this course, all right? And the, the good thing about it is, is if you don't understand the question, you can always contact me here. Just say message instruct, instructor about this question. Contact me, okay? I also meet students one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. If you're having difficulty, I meet you at least once a week. You can contact me all for $10, $10 because normally I tutor one-on-one -on -one at $20 per hour, an hour, okay? So... You can get this course. I created this course for people who don't have enough financial resources. You know, I had to charge for this course because to get this done, to put it up online, it costs money, server cost and all that. So, and you know, to also support me. All right. So $10, $10 I feel is fair enough. Okay. For a start now and for you to support you. And it is a lifetime access to this it's wonderful and beautiful okay so we got the answer here all right so next uh, time we're going to also treat another topic okay so you can have several practice here all right you can see this several practice to make it perfect in cycle graph because cycle graphs in the ged in the ged test always ask questions like this they give you the percent and tell you to find the amount of something else so it's it's the formula, it's a percentage formula that you use to find out, okay? Sometimes the question will give you the part and tell you to find the whole, how much, how much did she spend, okay? It might give you the part of a particular, like maybe for rent, give you the part and tell you, and tell you to ask how much she spent in the month, all right? So try all these questions here by getting the course. All right, thank you. And see you in our next video. Don't forget, you can join the Facebook group. You can also visit our website for several other resources. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, lastly, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. All right, and give us that life here, heaven on earth. He can give us peace here. He can give us grace and love and beauty, even while we're here. All we need to be is to stay in him. He said he is the vine and we are the branches. We cannot do anything without him, okay? We can't separate ourselves from him and, you know, fare well emotionally and spiritually in this world. So please come on to Jesus today and he will give you rest and peace. Alright, thank you and see you in our next video.